Hey, what's going on, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the multi console emulator Midnathan to emulate Sega Saturn games on your computer. And the first thing you're going to want to do to start out is scroll down to the description of this video and click on the three links I got for you down there. The first link will bring you to the Midnathan website, and here we're going to download the emulator itself. If you have a 32-bit computer, download the 32-bit version, and if you have a 64-bit computer, download the 64-bit version. Then, the second link will bring us to a media fire site where we can download our Sega Saturn BIOS files. And the third link will bring you to the Notepad++ page. If you do not have Notepad++ on your computer, click download here, pause the video, and install it, and then continue on. Now we have everything that we need to start. So the first thing we have to do is make a new folder on our desktop. You can call it whatever you want. I'm calling mine Sega and opening it up. Then we're going to go to the first file we downloaded, which is the emulator itself, and open it up. We're going to highlight all the content in that folder and click and drag it into our new folder. After you've done that, you can open up the second file we downloaded, highlight the content in that folder, and click and drag it in there. Now what we have to do is click on the Midnathan EXE and it'll populate a few files for us. We'll get an error, that's all right, press OK. Now there should be some extra files in your folder, one of them being this Midnafin CFG file. What you're gonna do is you're gonna right click this file, go down to edit with Notepad++, and click right there. Now that we have this open, all we have to do is edit two values, and right here where it says cache entire CD image and memory, where it says zero, you're gonna erase that and put in a one. If you have a slower or an older machine, leave that as zero, or it may cause choppy gameplay. After that, all you have to do is go to search, and then find, and in this little box right here, type in 3D PAD, all one word, and click find next. And you'll see a list of a bunch of 3D pads, but what we want is actually just over that, where it says input device for virtual port one, where it says gamepad, erase that, and type in 3D pad. And after you're done, you can go ahead and click save and exit out. Now all we have left to do is load up a game and configure our controls. To load a game, all you have to do is take the Q file for your ROM and click and drag it over the Benafin EXE and drop it right there on top. It may take a couple seconds to open, so if it does, just be patient. This emulator is very particular about the types of files it will load. It will load ISO and bin files, but they must be loaded through the Q file. Once the emulator is running, all you have to do is hold down Alt, Shift, and 1. Once again, that's Alt, Shift, and 1, and you'll get a control prompt at the bottom. And what you're going to do on your keyboard or on your controller is hit the button on your controller that you want to match to the button you see on screen. And you're going to have to press that button two times. Be sure you remember which button you assign for mode. There are two types of Dreamcast controllers, one with a joystick and one without. Certain games only take the type with the joystick. So if you start a game and you find your controller isn't working, hit the mode button and it will switch your controller type so you can play. This emulator is rather particular about the ROM type that you use. And even if you're using the correct ROM type, sometimes it'll give you an error message. But fear not, because I'll be uploading a video in a little bit on how to fix those ROMs so they'll work in the emulator. So now you're all set up and ready to play. I hope this video helped. If it did, be sure to like and subscribe, and maybe check out some of my other videos. I got a ton of stuff on emulation you might find helpful as well. Until the next time, you guys have a good one.